Hey guys and welcome back. So today is the 1st of September and today the Viking and I have decided that we're going to do the 30 day no spend challenge. So basically it means that you spend no money on things like treats, you can spend money on the necessities, so things like um, bills and food, like grocery shopping, petrol if we need to, we have filled up the tank but we're gonna try and walk and just cycle wherever we can um, and basically just see what the outcome of this might be. It's kind of just a challenge experiment. I've seen this a few times on YouTube and found it really interesting. I'm definitely not heading down the route of minimalism but I do want to start focusing a bit more intently on our lives and thinking about what we have and what we do with our time and our money and kind of try to have a bit of a declutter within our lives. So this is the first day. I will take you along throughout the next 30 days and then we will see what the outcome of it is. No spend September means lovely yummy home cooked treats. So it's Tuesday morning. I am currently in Mia's nursery and I'm having a bit of a clear out. We're gonna put up some shelves. So I've just decided that I would get the shelves out and then I started going through the wardrobe. Um, I have a shelf in her wardrobe which is basically just full of like the tech stuff, like breast pump and the kind of thermometer and the light that I used to use uh, when I was feeding her by and all those kind of things that I don't really want to get rid of but we're not using so I don't need and I'm sure another mum in Reykjavik could use them. So I have popped a couple of things up on kind of the free group in Iceland but I'm just cleaning the pump, sterilising it again because I'm going to list it and see if anyone wants to buy it. Um, I have two so I have a spare one, this is kind of the backup. This takes me back. <laughs> so today is the first day that I'm really having like a chill out at home. I normally take Mia to Dagmama in the morning but Ingemar did it this morning so it kind of threw me because um, I wasn't actually up and dressed yet, <laughs> so I kind of had a bit of a lazy morning. Um, and by lazy morning, I mean she woke up at whatever, six o'clock, and I got up at seven o'clock. <laughs> so it's not really a lazy morning. I've been packing up some orders, um, I need to get them off. So I'm thinking if I should walk along there. It's a very autumnal day, but it's also very rainy, so I just don't know. I feel like I could probably be more productive with my time, but I really shouldn't be using the car. Every day no spend challenge is going well so far. I'm going off to pick up Mia and I've brought my own cup of tea for the walk. I just wanted to show you that we're even walking in the rain. This is the look for today. It's quite cold actually. It's, I don't know, maybe like seven degrees or something. Um, as you can see, it's getting a bit autumnal. There's a couple of yellow turning trees there. A little bit of red tint to them. Autumn is here. Um, but yeah, we're just doing a quick speed walk to the Dag Mama. I get to leave the buggy there, so I don't have to push an empty buggy home. And then I speed walk back and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm doing a collaboration with Ise Skier, which is the local skier company. So that's kind of a treat for us because we get, I think like two trays of skier um, in exchange for photographs. So obviously not spending money. I posted on Instagram last night and there was 27 people that said they were also doing it with us. So that is exciting. Um, so yeah, I feel very proud of you all if you did the 30 days with us. Ingemar's equivalent of a 30 day no spend challenge. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's kind of no stopping them. I think the more I've said no to spending money, the more he's wanted to spend money. I was gonna vlog. <laughs> So today is the last day of 30 day no spend challenge in September and as it is <laughs> today we have changed the tires, put on the winter tires, not study tires, just winter tires which has cost a bit of money and now we are at the, what would you call this, like a baby shop to get the new seat for Mia because... The new baby. <laughs> to buy a new baby. Yeah. Uh, because she is now of the height that is like the limit of the baby seat that she's got. So we're ending this challenge by spending 
a decent amount of money. Although we have figured out a way to get quite a discount on it. Yeah. Because here in Iceland, if you are with either a certain insurer or a certain union... No, I'm going doing the other thing. I just need to find the ski mask. <laughs> we are paying for this anymore. Um, yeah, so you get a discount if you're with a union or one type of provider which we're not with either but we have friends so they said that's okay if you just get their id number and buy it under their number so we're saving a bit of money that way at least but we are ending this by spending a decent amount of money which we kind of knew was coming anyway okay, so how have you found the 30 day no spend challenge i found it really hard <laughs> and i think that my mind works in a very bad way because we spent money a lot of money before we went into the 30 days of no spend to minimize the costs during these 30 days yeah but by that we probably added some costs onto we spent extra money in order to save money and i'm not sure if that's the way to go we went to costco yeah and we yeah, said we because we're bulk. starting because we're starting this tomorrow or in two days and we spent a little more money today and it's like mm, I, I was we're... doing that yeah you were doing it uh-huh yeah yeah. <laughs> I think if we're going to make this into a lifestyle, which I'm not opposed to, I think it's more about cutting out the things you don't need. Yeah, absolutely. And rather spend money on things you need and then spend a little bit more money on them. On good things. Like yeah. invest your money wisely. Yeah. Instead yeah, absolutely. of. Absolutely. Uh, and also, when you have stuff that you're stopped using, just get rid of it, sell it. Don't just sit on it. Yeah, we've ended up doing quite a declutter and getting rid of a lot of stuff like gifting it to people or donating it to charity or um, putting it in like secondhand charity collection shop like bins mm. um, or selling it on there's a lot of sales groups on Facebook here everything is run through Facebook in Iceland so we've done a lot of that um, especially with Mia's things and some of the stuff that it, I just decided if I've not used it in the last year then do I really need it? And we've ended up having a massive declutter, which I think is really, really good and we've needed it. And I feel like the house is just so much freer of stuff now. Yeah, but it feels also like we're mentally yeah, more focused it does. And, and it's just we decluttered our brains as well. <laughs> well I did. I don't really spend very much anyway. Ingemar does the spending and the spending for me. <laughs> Yeah. And Mia. Yeah. I've ended up not really seeing people because they've been like, let's go out to the cinema or let's go for a drink or let's go out for lunch or something. And so I've had a lot of people over for like tea and coffee and scones and whatever at ours. But I've also missed out on some things because I've kind of stuck to it really strict um, and not spent any money, which I have realised I do the most amount of work when I'm out actually at a coffee shop or wherever um, and so this has probably taught me that and when I'm at a coffee shop I end up buying a coffee because you're using off a table and you feel like you should kind of thing so I think that is that's something that I'm gonna have a think about figure out places to work not from home because I do a lot more work when I'm out of the house and the library is just too distracting and it's too cold to sit outside with a nice coffee and a flask, so... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. My take on this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, save where you can save, and, and save wisely. Don't buy crappy food instead of good food. Buy good nutrition. Ask yourself two or three times, do I really need this when you're thinking about buying something? Hey, don't impulse buy. And Ingmar has been thinking about a few things that he's wanted to buy and so this has meant he's had the whole month to think about it. So it does, it makes you really really think about what you want to spend your money on and to invest the right money and not just buy a cheaper version of something. So that's something that's definitely come out of this. I think also uh, social, du social duties so social yeah. things, you should let them suffer because you're saving. I know, I've been a bit of an idiot about it. Because yeah. it's like, uh, if you're gonna go to a convent, then go to a convent. <laughs> Don't try to do that at your home. You know, if you're gonna cut everyone off because you're saving money, uh, money is freedom. That's mm -hmm. literally, so use, yeah, you can exercise your freedom. Time is definitely 
the one commodity that you can't buy more of whereas yeah. you can in theory hopefully make more money so you know doing whatever with your time and investing your time is definitely the most important thing because hopefully you can always make money again if you joined us for this challenge you succeeded and learned stuff out of it as well and um, feel free to comment down below if you have any takeaways from this challenge and yeah give us a thumbs up for doing this and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video and feel free to, free to <laughs> criticize me <laughs> bye bye bye